The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. The Biden administration Monday announced two new Department of Agriculture efforts to support fair and competitive meat and poultry markets. The efforts include publishing the proposed inclusive competition and market integrity rules under the Packers and Stockyards Act to protect farmers and ranchers from abuse and a new $15 million agricultural competition challenge to ramp up collaboration with the state attorneys general on enforcement of competition laws such as laws against price fixing. President Biden discussed the proposal Monday during a meeting of the White House Competition Council. And that is, they're basically, uh, you know, you heard me say it before, they're basically four, not paid, they're four major meat processing companies. They are middlemen who buy the livestock from the ranchers and then sell the meat to the grocery stores. And because four of them control 80% of the market, they control the price. So they make more and the ranchers and consumers get less. The rancher gets less for his product and the consumer gets less for what they're buying. Several months ago, I directed the administration to take action on this issue, and today we're following through on that commitment by providing grants to small meat processors so they can compete with the big four and ultimately have provide competition and lower the cost at grocery stores. And I'm expecting this council to build on this momentum and deliver more concrete results by the next time we meet. The proposed rule on inclusive competition and market integrity covers four areas, which includes prohibiting certain prejudices and disadvantages against covered producers, prohibits retaliatory practices, identifies unlawfully deceptive practices that violate the Packers and Stockyards Act, and record-keeping requirements to support evaluation of regulated entity compliance. The second proposal, the Agricultural Competition Challenge to the State Attorneys General, would improve state AG capacity to conduct on-the-ground investigations of competition issues, enhance coordination between federal and state agriculture and competition enforcement authorities, among other priorities. Capitalism without competition is not, not capitalism, it's exploitation. And we're building an economy that works for everyone. That's what we're about at this table. Earlier this year, USDA and the DOJ announced their commitment to work more closely together to effectively enforce federal competition laws that protect farmers, ranchers, and agricultural producers from unfair and anti-competitive practices. We'll be right back. 